Hello, Leo. Welcome to a love reading all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest for Leo. For Leo Spirit. For Leo. Tell me about Leo's energies in this connection. Tell me about Leo's energies in this connection. Ooh, vulture. So you're cleaning something up. Maybe working on yourself, self-care. Maybe you want to clear the air, address something. What about your person? Tell me about Leo's person. What are their energies in this connection? B. Hard worker, the B. Busy. Okay, let's look at these a little bit closer with the book. I'm not going to read all of these, just going to look at the main messages. <clears throat> so the vulture is trying to rebalance. Cleans up messes, does the dirty work. There's a situation that needs to be purified or brought back into balance. Okay, so you're kind of trying to, like I said, work on something, fix something, um, address a situation that needs to be rebalanced. Now the B works steadily and thoughtfully. Um, bustling joyous personalities until they're too tired from all the work then they gripe and then sting earnest hard-working democratic so I feel like your person either they know they have to put in work or this is what you're going to be expecting from them to put in some work make an effort here um, maybe you need to come into some sort of an agreement with this person Let's see, what's going on in your connection? This is the wisdom of the Oracle deck. Spirit. What's going on with these two here? Leo and their person. What is going on between Leo and this other person? What's going on here? What are the mutual energies here? Okay. Surrender, let go, go with the flow, yin energy. Interesting. The message that instantly got is that like you're ready to just stop fighting, let this go. Almost like if you don't want to be here, there's the door. That's the energy I'm picking up here. What's at the bottom? Breathe. I feel like you're very calm or there's like a, a calm here. Almost like someone is stepping off the brake or just no longer being affected by something, no longer being influenced like negatively by a situation. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's get into the tarot. Let's see what messages we have for Leo. Now, these are general messages. Oops, I keep hitting the tripod. Let me move this over. These are general messages, Leo, so they will not resonate with everyone watching. Just keep that in mind. Um, and that's okay if it's not your reading. You know, don't try to make it fit. Just check back next week or check your other placements. Leo Spirit. Tell me about the main energy here between Leo and this other person. What's going on here between these two? The Emperor. Wow. Okay. Aries energy with the Emperor. Someone that gets things done. Instantly thought of this vulture. Page of Swords. Something needs to be addressed, said, expressed. You could be watching this person, this person could be watching you. Social media messages.
Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy my readings. It helps out the channel a lot. It's free. <laughs> okay. Seven of Cups. Okay. Maybe there's a calmness to this connection because I feel like maybe there's not a lot of action here. Um, someone is thinking about some sort of opportunity with the Knight of Pentacles here. Some sort of an opportunity here that's taking a long time to appear. Um, and possibly it's because someone cannot make up their mind, doesn't know what path to choose here. I feel like with this emperor, a decision has to be made. The, the emperor is very decisive. They don't, they don't let their emotions cloud their judgment. They're very um, steadfast, stable. They like things organized in order. Um, they would definitely be the ones that would clean something up if it needed to be cleaned up. I feel like there's some sort of conversation that's going to take place here if it hasn't already. Uh, and I feel like someone's basically going to say something like, I'm tired of waiting, I can do better than this, or you need to make up your mind. <laughs> One of those is going to be um, expressed here. Okay, tell me about Leo. Let's look at you, Leo. And by the way, Leo, I have you on this side and your person on the other, but you can flip them if they resonate more because energy can be flipped for Leo. For Leo. Tell me about Leo's energies. What you tell me about Leo's energies? Oh, I got two. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. And Five of Cups reversed. I feel like you're thinking like past or future here because I have the five of cups reversed. So it could be that you want something back from the past or are stuck in the past in some way. Um, maybe while you're trying to make a decision, you're thinking of the past here. What else can you tell me about Leo? Page of Pentacles, reverse, two of swords. This is a very difficult decision. I feel like you're the one um, kind of deciding here what to do with the fact that something hasn't worked out here. There hasn't been commitment or work or effort put into something and you're trying to decide what to do about that. So what about your person? Whoa. Okay. Eight of cups reverse, devil reverse, devil reverse. Okay. Capricorn energy there. And it looks like I feel like your person has left a situation to come back to you here with the Eight of Cups reversed. Tell me more about Leo's person. What is this about? Nine of Cups reversed. So your person is not happy, didn't get their wish fulfilled, possibly left you for another opportunity. It didn't work out possibly here. They've had some sort of loss, your person. Um, I just... It's almost like they want to come back to work on something here. So let's see if I'm right about that. If this is resonating for you in any way, please leave me a comment and let me know how the reading is resonating because I love hearing from you guys. You know, sometimes I sit up here and I'm like, what is going on? But you guys tell me that I'm right on the money sometimes and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> for Leo, help me clarify these energies, Spirit. Let me clarify these energies. Okay, tell me about this emperor. Let's get into this. 
Page of Swords Reverse. Tell me about this Emperor, please. Okay, two of them. Page of Cups, six. See, this is, there's something off balance that this Emperor wants to rebalance here. Um, it's almost like they need to express themselves. Something that they haven't said has caused an imbalance. Maybe you need to, if this is you, um, if you're this emperor, I feel like you just need to take a risk because I feel like this person hasn't done anything about it, hasn't spoken up until now because they don't think the feelings are mutual or they don't think that someone will recipro reciprocate or accept what they're going to say. I'm also getting the sense that this emperor might be the one that wants to apologize for the fact that they weren't completely honest with you and that they weren't like this caused an imbalance here. Tell me about the page of swords. Where's the page of swords here? Yeah, something here about not working, um, not working hard enough, not putting in enough effort, not being focused. Tell me more about this page of swords. Yeah, this is definitely communication. Like there's communication happening here about something that's not working. Can you get one more for this page of swords? Okay, that Nine of Pentacles reverse wanted to come out. Someone's still attached to something, not free, not independent, possibly financially dependent on someone. Someone could have lost their job and is not very stable right now. Um, for others of you, I'm picking up that someone's just not able to put in the work because they're attached to something. And I feel like, yeah, the Emperor's reverse, nothing's growing or manifesting here. Nothing nothing is happening here because of that. And I feel like someone someone has been very patient, but it's like they're kind of figuring out or thinking, like, why am I so patient? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Oops. Judgment reversed. You know what I instantly thought? Someone doesn't want to make the wrong choice. Tell me more about Seven of Cups. Maybe they made the wrong choice before. What's the Seven of Cups here? Moon energy, Pisces here. Um, it's like they don't, I, I think they're not gonna make the right choice because they don't know enough information. Like there's something they don't know that they need to get to the bottom of. It could be that someone wants to have a conversation about what this is, where this is going, what's the truth. You know, all this doubting, this confusion, this like uncertainty, I can't deal with it. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. I don't want to be just another option as well, I'm seeing here. Hermit Reverse, while wow, Major Arcana's Virgo energy. It's like the not knowing is just pushing someone away here. This could be you or your person. Could be definitely dealing with an earth sign. So let's see, what decision are you trying to make over here? Tell me about the two of wands. Wow, ace of wands, eight of cups, chariot, reverse. So you're trying to make a decision whether to stay or go, to leave for another opportunity here because something feels stuck, something's not progressing. Maybe you need to switch direction altogether, go on a whole different path, and that's probably where you're gonna have your Ace of Wands. I'm also getting the sense like you're wondering if someone's gonna leave a situation and have this new beginning with you, um, and this like not knowing or the holding back, the, the time being spent on this, you're wondering if it's worth it. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. It could be that your person is the one that has to make the choice. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. And you're like thinking about that. What's the Five of Cups reverse? That's way too many. What's the Five of Cups reverse? 
three of pentacles some of you are definitely in a third party i know that a lot of you like hate to to have like the third party always come up but you know i just i'm seeing your person over here breaking free of something and i have an eight of cups here so it's like someone's leaving i feel or or thinking of leaving and then I have the three of pentacles with the five of cups reversed. So it's almost like someone wants to recover what they lost. Like, like someone went to someone else and you want to recover that, what you lost. Yeah. Five of cups at the bottom here. Maybe you want to work together again on with this person. Um, when it didn't work in the past, tell me more about this five of cups reverse. Five of Cups Reverse is about like overcoming the disappointment, the sadness, and kind of moving forward. Um, but it could also mean, you know, recovering what you lost, but it can also mean being stuck in the past. So let's see, why is this Five of Cups Reverse? Wow, this is definitely about the past. Look at this. Six of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. It's like someone was juggling something here. Juggling the between the past and new love. Or the past and new, you know? Your person could be juggling two people. You could be juggling two people. I feel like there's a back and forth here. I think someone's kind of over that. Like, they're tired of waiting. Like, all they're doing is waiting. I think this is you, Leo. Why is the Two of Swords down here? Why is the Two of Swords down here? Ooh, Seven of Swords. What's this? Three of Swords. My goodness. I feel like, yeah, there's something with the Ace of Pentacles reverse, Wheel of Fortune. Wow. And the Nine of Cups. Wow. Something is not happening for you. You are not getting your wish. Nothing is working out for you and you're unable to make a decision about it. I feel like you have suspicions about someone not being honest with you. Tell me about the Eight of Cups reverse here. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? Someone left a dr dramatic situation or their departure caused conflict, drama, jealousy, too many people here could have left a commitment this person yeah look at this three of cups reverse four of cups reverse knight of swords reverse like this is someone that has had a change of heart regarding a third party situation possibly there was a lot of fighting tell me more about this eight of cups reverse star Aquarius energy knight of wands reverse higher font reverse I feel like someone here was not faithful or broke a commitment here they weren't able to commit to this person tell me about the devil reverse it's the devil reverse Wow. Jesus. Okay, so I feel like, okay, yeah. Ace of Swords at the bottom. So I have someone here who was in some sort of situation that their own actions put them in. Their own actions, whether it was giving into temptation, giving into codependency, giving into their, their desires, addictions giving into toxicity whatever it was they kind of chained themselves there and they're trying to break free or have broken free um, but this means that they're not able to give you anything other than words like all this person's going to give you is the truth which is probably all you want but they don't have financial stability they don't have stability to offer you or commitment to offer you um, and if it is commitment that they want to give you, it's going to take a long time.
for them to give this to you, Leo. I feel like whatever whatever communication take look at all these swords. Whatever com communication takes place here, I feel like you're going to have to make a decision with whatever information this person gives you. And I feel like this is not going to be an easy decision for you. Like I see you having like sleepless nights, stressed out, anxious about what to do. I think part of you or, you know, I just think whatever, whoever I'm talking to here, that's whatever Leo I am talking to. You've been in this game with this person for a while. This is not new. This has been ongoing. And I think you're ready to just let this go. Now, it could be that you're waiting for a miracle <laughs> or you really love this person. Maybe this is your soulmate. And maybe something keeps you attached to this person. But I think even if there's some sort of an attachment, you're starting to wonder if it's worth it. All right, why is this Nine of Cups reverse? This is Nine of Cups reverse. Justice, Libra energy. Why is this Nine of Cups reverse? Ten of Cups reverse, Seven of Wands, Lovers reverse. I feel like your person has initiated some sort of breakup, possibly a divorce, or the fact that you guys broke up was, it's like this person could never be happy without you. Yeah, there was, this is definitely a breakup here. And someone's using this breakup to return to you. So this is definitely like a third party energy I'm picking up here. Or um, whatever interference got in between your connection, I feel like someone has had to cut that loose. So let's look at the potential outcome here. All right, let's see. What is the potential outcome here, Spirit? For Leo and this person. What is the potential outcome here? For Leo and this person. Potential outcome, please. For Leo and this person. Nine of Wands reverse. Ten of Wands reverse. Potential outcome, please. Oh my gosh, can I get like one card, please? Potential outcome, please, for Leo and this other person. Hermit reverse. Wheel reverse, sun reverse. Okay. Eight of cups. So I feel like there is delayed happiness, delayed success here with the sun reverse and the wheel reverse. These two cards for me as a reader does not mean that you'll never have a wheel or that you'll never have the sun. I feel like you will eventually, but I feel like these cards mean there's more work to be done. There's more that needs to happen, possibly a departure here. Um, I feel like there's a burden that's going to be dropped in this connection. Um, I feel like someone's kind of like wanting to give up the baggage, the burden, the obligation, you know, all whatever I feel has not been said, addressed, cleaned up. It's like someone can't keep that up. So they're going to want to take charge or have that conversation that they've been avoiding or drop this burden in some way. You know, I definitely see that happening. Um, with the hermit reversed, I feel like there's, there's someone that's still kind of disconnected here very withdrawn, um, still figuring things out or refusing to figure out what they need to figure out, you know? Let's see. What's this hermit reversed about? Why is this hermit reversed? 